in this module we shall discuss end of life care in the intensive care unit. The objectives of the talk today is the description and application of ethical principles, standard operating procedures for end of life decision making and understanding the legal implications of end of life care decisions. End of life care decision is thus an interface between uh, medical aspects, the ethical aspects and legal aspects and also the social aspects of such decision making. You can see that we first need accuracy and validity and reliability of diagnosis and the facts of the case. Then this has to go through the prism of the three principles of ethics, autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence and social justice and then there are modifiers or barriers to the decision making as you can see in the form of societal and cultural issues, economic considerations, legal uh, framework and all this contribute to the final decision making. So we look at the ethical principles that govern end of life decision making. Indeed, it is the four pillars of how doctor and patient relate to each other. This is you can see autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence and social justice. These are fundamental to the ethical principles. Autonomy means respect for patient's choices and preferences. That is, the patient has a right to self-determination. If the patient has lost capacity, preferences must be elicited in some form through the next of kin or through recorded preferences. Open, honest and complete disclosure of information is the key to patient autonomy. Informed consent and documentation is of course mandatory. Beneficence really flows from the fiduciary obligation to act always in the patient's best interest.